judge today's case, stand-up guy. Ongoing unbridled anger along with unending agitation. That's what I have in store for me today. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with David Caesar and Demetia Caesar. The two of you have been together for four years, married for two years, and you have two children together, but you don't want to be together anymore. Mr. Caesar, you are seeking $150 for the wedding band you say Mrs. Caesar threw out of the car. We will talk about that momentarily, but before we do, Mrs. Caesar, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here today in divorce court. How you doing, Judge? We're here today because David thinks I'm argumentative and I have an anger issue. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Um, it's because David doesn't have a normal acting tendency. He, he does things out of the norm. So when we go through arguments and stuff... Caesar. One incident was with us in social media. Um, I was talking with the male, and he assumed I had a relationship with him. Um, it was an incident where we was on our way home, and he started badgering me about it, and I got mad, and I threw the keys out of the car while the car was going. Um, he had to stop the car. Yes. You pulled the key out of the ignition? Yes, ma'am. While the car is going? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> How much sense does that make? Yes, ma'am. Um, also, yeah, I threw the keys out of the window. Um, he had to get out the car and get them because he just kept going on. He, he What was he saying? Saying that I want to be with the dude, um, having sexual encounters with him um, while I'm at work. I'll meet up with him. Um, situations like that. He would block the dude, but I... Even if he was acting a fool, yes, acting a bigger fool doesn't make any sense. You could have hurt somebody. Yes, You know what I mean? Throwing the keys out of the car like that. Yeah. Mr. Caesar, did all that really happen? Yeah, ma'am, yes. I would imagine it did, because she wouldn't make that something that bad up about herself. Yeah. What was she doing that you found so indicative of an inappropriate relationship? I don't, I, don't, I don't really know, you know what I'm saying? Because that ain't really how, 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 how the situation really go like You that. tell me how it went. I remember her throwing the keys out. That's, that was the main part I was talking about. You know Do you know saying? why she threw the keys? She already admitted to that. So, something was going on. We probably were. We were arguing, but you threw the keys out the ignition. That topped the whole cake right oh, there. Oh, absolutely. That just, that and everything. I already once, told once her you that. Once you throw the keys out the ignition, everything we were talking about before, that's frivolous. No. We talking about the keys out the ignition. <laughs> Tell me some other things that she's done in a fit of rage that 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 were outrageous. Almost had the bake act, you know what I'm saying? Going crazy in them people's stole, cussing, throwing stuff down, just, just being belligerent. Do you know how that started? It usually always started over something simple and then just blow up into something real big, that you know what I'm saying? So it's this hard. Season... To, it's hard to per se. What, well, no, what ma'am. Really it was that. an incident where I was pregnant with my son. Mm. Um, we was inside of the store. Yes, um, David had came back from school because he was going to school, and he wanted my mom to cook something for him, and I didn't want him. No, that I didn't ain't, want that ain't to do it. Stop! Means... Stop! So I end up we're we're inside the store and we get into an argument. Yes, about that, and so we. we what were we arguing about? We we're arguing about my mom cooking something. I didn't. I didn't want him to. I didn't want her to cook for him. I didn't. <laughs> So, hey, that would I no, mean. hang on. Yes, Just a minute. Why didn't you want your mother to cook for him? Because when David used to come from school, cook he used me. to not help out around the house. You didn't want your mother to cook for him because he won't do anything around the house. Yes, ma'am. And she was already cooking a another meal. So we get into the argument. We get inside the car and we, we go to arguing about other things, and David, they, Mr. Caesar mentioned he didn't want to be with me, he didn't want to be with my children, he, he didn't want to be with us. So I got very frustrated. Um, I was. Are you high? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to what's yeah, going on. I'm just it. listening to what's going on. I don't know what's happening <laughs> over here. <laughs> Right. I'm just listening to what's going on because I'm stand up and down. Oh man! Put you your head. Do like now. That was just about to stand Whenever like him. I was just about to stand like him. I was just about to stand like him. No, I ain't saying I'm just about to get that. What's going on? Look at Nick. He 
got a little thing. Right. This going on right now. He got it going. Stay they with They got near muscle, but he like this. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Keep it together. Man. Keep okay. it together. Why didn't you talk to your mother about that? Why you were fighting with him about it? Well, we did. I spoke with my mom about it. She didn't have an issue, but yeah, it was me true. with what me and David was going through. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of let my emotions get the best of me. And like I, like I said, I was pregnant two, three years in a row, so I'm not used to, you know, dealing with my hormones in a way of like that, Judge. Um, we was in the car, and we, like I said, started badgering each other and everything, and I just got frustrated with him, and I threw my ring out of the window. Um, when I did that... I thought we were in Walmart. Yeah, that was That's the same. I'm that was the whole thing. You. That I'm was from the to grocery you. You store to up. that. That was from the grocery store to that. But we weren't in Walmart. Well, what happened when you got into the store? We was arguing about my mom cooking for him. Yeah, that did was... you tear something up? Yeah, I mean, I was in there ramping and raving about things and, you know, knocking stuff down a little bit. Yes, ma'am. Did the people at the store get angry with you? No, ma'am. They were scared of you? They, 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 they came and asked, was everything okay? They did ask that. And they, I told them yes. And so I told them, you know, my husband and I are going through things. And so they kind of backed up off us and we checked out. We just automatically left. You know, that's disorderly conduct. That's a misdemeanor. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. They could have they, they taken you downtown, mm -hmm. hormones and all. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, see, she just mixed up two stores and combined them. Okay. Transformed them and took them, you know what I'm saying, somewhere they weren't. See, the store and them people were about to take somebody to jail because they even came and asked me. I had to tell the man. Me and the man about to get into a conflict because you ain't even got a gun and you trying to tell me to chill out. Right. You ain't got nothing, no gun, no flashlight, no, no handcuffs. Mm -hmm. You just got a regular polo on talking about this little problem. So, yeah, she was in <laughs> acting the food then ran way down to the plant section. I don't walk down to the plant session. Now you down in the, the plant plex session. The plants. The plants. Yeah. Plant yeah. Plant yeah. Plant yeah. Plant okay. Bushes. The plants. I know. I got you. I got okay, you. Okay, yo. Plants. She down there with the plants acting crazy and stuff. So I'm down there and went down there. I'm talking to her and stuff. She on the phone with a homegirl and stuff like that. This acting out right. I don't even know what the situation was about at But I just know she was acting crazy. Now, the situation at Publix, now that was at Publix by the mama cooking. Mm -hmm. We had done went in there, her mom about to cook something. Uh -huh. The correct story was we was gonna get extra meat because she was already about to buy some chicken. Right. I wanted some steak. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That she I, mentioned, I was in school, but she never said I was doing the school. I'm playing football, <laughs> I'm going to school, and I, 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 I um the school an hour away from where we live at. So you tired I'm when you tired, get home? I'm tired, I'm tired. What you mean I'm tired? What you mean? We practice four days a week in the hot sun. It's hot in Florida, 100 degree weather. Well, Yana, when he used to... I come... live in Phoenix. I don't even want to hear it. Yeah. Why don't you take care of the birth control situation there, Mr. Caesar? What you talking about getting neutered? I mean... <laughs>Said one time you came home from school and had to sleep in the car. Tell had me about that. Sleep in the that. car, had to change the lock on my house. Why I pay the bills? At how that sound? Now that sound. How did that happen? Mm. When you, you know what I'm saying? When you already got people that stay inside the establishment, you know what I'm saying? That, that's that's how that happened. Cause the, her and her mama was staying there. Now, first of all, she pregnant, mm. so I had to ask for somebody to come and help her at the house and be there with her, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. That's right. how her mama got there and stuff like that. So little things was going on, little bada bing, bada booms and stuff. She ain't really want me at school. Hated the whole situation. Hated on the whole situation. Was accusing me Why of doing stuff. Why didn't you want him at school? Because she thought I was down there messing around with people. <laughs> thought I was down there uh, kicking the boo boo and, 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 and all that. Right. <laughs> Well, Judge, it was really because I was, like I say, I got, I was pregnant with my son. David didn't help me with none, none of the establishments with my son. I couldn't have a baby shower. I, he didn't help me buy anything for my son. My mom was there the whole way helping me. Yes, he came down when my son was born in November, but he only came because I was not going to name him after him. David only came so he can get the benefit of being in the hospital for me to have my son because I was not going to name him. Me and him was not on a good path at all. So, when he used to come from school, he used to go, and he's a little league coach, he go and do everything else pertaining to football. That's the big issue in our marriage. He overly loves football, you know? I don't know how to put it, but that's what he, he put first. You feel neglected. You feel neglected, yes, ma'am. And that's where my anger and my, and my argumentative side comes out with. Do you, think you, do you think that you're helping your cause when you lose your mind every time you talk about any small thing? Does that make it attractive for him to make time to come home. No, ma'am. And, okay. I, and I understood that. Do you like having a mother there, or is she a problem? You know what I'm saying? It, it, everything be copacetic, you know what I'm saying? It, it just be 
the part when, when me and Misha get into it, you know what I'm saying? I'm a mm -hmm. type of dude, don't get in my business. Stay in your lane, I'm staying in my lane, you know what I'm saying? If I got something going on, let me have something going on. I don't need everybody's opinion in, what, in my business, you feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And Misha's problem is, she talk too much. She tell everybody her business, you mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? So if we doing something over here, you know, went over, over here and then told them what we doing over here. And David don't like that. I want my business to stay my business, because nobody ain't telling me they business, so why, why everybody why, know Why, why business? everybody know your business? Why, you know Speaking what I'm of, of her telling people your business... My business. They say, she says, you want too much sex. <laughs> I'm, a norm, I'm a normal man, and that, I got men, on, I got I got men in aspects. You too much sex, saying? yes, ma'am. Um, my sexual drive isn't as high, because I'm obviously getting pregnant every time. So I don't <laughs> like that. I can't enjoy myself, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. getting pregnant all the time. So, do, do you use birth control? I have, after I had my son, but it affected me in a negative way. So then did you go on to another kind of birth control? No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Why not? <laughs> Due to medical issues, and I didn't have the time. I didn't have the time. I'm not going to make up no excuses. I didn't, I didn't have the time. I didn't have the time to get birth control. Mm -hmm. So you end up getting pregnant, and you bring a life into this world that will suck up all your time. Yes, this is what you're telling me. Yes, if that's not the tail wagging the dog, I don't know what is. Why don't you take care of the birth control situation there, Mr. Caesar? Which time I get neutered? I mean. <laughs> Slip, 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 slip. They ain't on that. I use condoms and stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. Now, now you know what I'm saying? We, we, we could do something like along them lines, but then what if one of the condoms come up missing? Then I'm in trouble. Yes. What if, you know what I'm saying? All of them come up missing. Then I'm in trouble. You feel me? I ain't got time for that. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't got time. Y'all ain't got time for anything but your lap baby. But we're having children. Yes, you know but, you, but you're having children. Yeah. <laughs> When I was younger, not now. <laughs> you need to go back. Yes. Because whoever you saw didn't fix nothing, and you need to get something fixed. He's already accusing me of doing stuff. Mm hmm Do happening? you really think he's cheating on you? No, ma'am. Not, not now. No, ma'am. When was it? <laughs> it was coming up. I, I had to make sure that it was laying down. Was I felt up. like in school he wasn't cheating, but he was conversating with women. I and it was definitely an incident around Father's Day um, when me and David was getting into it just too heavily, you know, um, just arguing about everything, uh, Judge. So I ended up leaving him on Father's Day. Um, I left him um, that same day, me and my children, and um, I was going for a week. Um, when I left, um, he started being on social media, doing things, um, vulgar pictures inside the phone and everything like that I seen of him, um, and just kind of made me... What do you think a dude's gonna do when you pack up and go? Hmm. That he's just gonna sit in the house? No, ma'am. But what, I mean, what do you expect that behavior to elicit from him? Well, he he didn't try to care for his family. He didn't ask us to come back. He definitely talked to me in a nasty way and was accusing me of doing things. Um, it was mutual in a way of just talking to other people, but mm -hmm. he took it far with the pictures and the the, the genitalia area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so on a break, you can talk to other people as long as you don't see their situation. Yes, ma'am. I see. <laughs> I didn't know what the rules were. <laughs> I didn't know what the rules I'm glad you cleared that up for yes, me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, with us being married still. Uh, Mr. Caesar, tell me about what happened with the ring. Oh, um, that one right there is mine right there. That one hers. So, um, we in Publix, and like I told you, they about right. to have chicken. Mm -hmm. I want steak. And you want steak. I got, I need that high protein. You feel right. what I'm saying? I'm burning all this muscle off. I need some good protein. So, she, I think it was that she was mad because I ain't asked her to cook the, the, the steak. That's what the whole M.O. was. Why did you cook my, ask mom to do it and I not never, her? I, I never asked mom to do it. I just picked the meat up and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna ask her to cook this right here. Mm. And, and knowing saying it from duh, it started, oh, you don't even like my mama. Why my mama gotta cook this? She cooking in the house already. So, you, so what you telling me is let her cook her food and I go in there and right behind her while she trying to put stuff in the oven. I'm out here trying to clean the food. I'm trying to put stuff in the oven. You got to be doing too much. Let her cook the food. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the whole thing, it done came all the way out of Publix. We done jumped in the car. OK, we going the whole opposite direction, because we stay one direction. I drove one direction. I did that because you got your mama here at the house. You feel me? She already mm -hmm. be putting in her two cents. You know what I'm saying? The mama ain't the problem. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Misha's problem, because she be telling her mama the problem. 
You right, feel what I'm right, saying? Right. So now you bringing in people <laughs> into it. So I ain't got no problem with your mama knowing saying she just doing what a mama would do, and that's just right. telling her daughter you what how she feel. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, but she'll right. never know if you never tell her. I you feel you. what I'm saying? Yeah. So we don't drove one way, cause I'm, I ain't trying to take the bull back to the house, and then now I gotta cuss people out. I ain't never cussing mama out, but I'm just saying, I gotta cuss you out, because you acting crazy, you know what I'm saying? You cuss me out, you know what I'm saying? So let's just do this in the car right now where we at. You know what I'm saying? Away so from people. Before we take it on off. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like cool off, you know what I'm saying, and everything. So, boom, you know what I'm saying? We... You know, that's the first thing you said today that made any sense. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. You gotta listen to me. You gotta listen to me. Oh, go you gotta listen to me. So, boom. We driving yeah. in the car and everything. You know what I'm saying? I said a little one, two, waze, waze, blase, blase. You know what I'm saying? What did you say? <laughs> they don't need to know all that. Yeah. I said some things, you feel what I'm saying? I really don't even, uh, uh, remember what I said. You know, I, you say things out of anger sometimes, you feel me? Things you really don't mean. You know what I'm saying? So I said some things, and here she go, you threw the rain out the window. You just opened the window, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> then I pull over and I tell you to get out and find your own rain. You want me to get, get out, out and, and walk, your, your honor? He told, told you to get, get out, out and walk. walk. That was after I told pregnant. you to find it, and you didn't want to go find it. So he kept telling <laughs> so you need to get out and walk. Get out and walk. Yeah, get out and walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y'all, and she ain't tell you she was in the car destroying things, beating up the dashboard, kicking the dashboard. Did you do that? Wheel. You know what I'm saying? I thought she was one of them USC people. Did, I probably I was trying to wiggle the steering doing. wheel. I don't remember kicking on the car. I probably was trying to. That just which is bad. Which, which is worse. Right. right. Nah. Yes, which is worse. This is bad. Because you start involving other people other when people. you are re trying, trying to, to redirect the car, trying to hurt him. They got yes, places for that. Oh my goodness. Have you told <laughs> see anybody about your anger? <laughs> when I was younger, not now. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go back. Yes. Because whoever you saw didn't fix nothing, yes. and you need to get something fixed. Mm -hmm. We can't have you out in the community like that. Yes, ma'am. That's crazy. Yes, ma'am. You know, you got to deal with your own situation, and, and, and Lord knows what that teaches your children. Yes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hooping and hollering. You want to make, you want to see crazy? Keep that up. Your little kids will grow up just like that. Yes, Holy moly, Macandoli. Putting in pie. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Mr. Caesar, you're not getting any money. Once you give the ring, the ring is hers, and you can't get any money back for it. I do see your frustration with respect to her, the way her agitation and the way that she expresses it. I think that you're agitating beyond all get out, too. But um, I think that you handle it a little better. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what to say, you know. Always let him see his kids. Mm -hmm. Always let it be easy for seeing his kids. Always make a huge effort to do so. You need to be a calm, peaceful source in their life. As crazy as you make their mother, that's how crazy your kids will be. You need to, to forge a peace with this woman because you got a little more sense than she does, which is scary. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you there. We'll be no recovery. It, it is so ordered. Yes, it is. <laughs> so. First off, are we done here, or are you guys gonna try and make this work? We're done. Um, I don't think I can deal with his vulgar language, um, the inconsistency of the family first thing. Mm -hmm. David doesn't put us first. Uh, Judge, not a lot to say, so how you feeling about it after uh, hearing from her? I feel like she hit on a lot of good points and stuff like that, and if, if we was to work, uh, uh, things that she said do gotta be worked on and, and taking like grown people. Follow us on Instagram for additional content from this case and preview our next all-new episode. Judge today's case, end of the road. Anger. Upset, derision, and destruction. This case is all about attitude. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Rob Risha Allen and Anthony Allen. Mr. and Mrs. Allen, you have been together for 17 years, married for seven, and have four children together. Mrs. Allen, I'm going. Uh, you are suing Mr. Allen for $1,500. 
500 for the um, telephone that he broke and 1,000 for the computer that he broke. So I'm gonna talk to you about that momentarily. But before we do, Mrs. Allen, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Well, Your Honor, I'm here because this fool don't know how to stop messing around with thoughts. Do you know what a thought is? I do know what a thought is. I learned on this show, but yes, okay. I know. Okay, yes. <laughs> he don't know how to stop messing around with thoughts. So, I have a story to tell you. So, one time, we were at home with the kids. We in the living room, chilling. You know, all of a sudden, he has... He jumps up, he has to go to the store. Okay, so, he goes to the store. It's a couple of hours. I'm like, where is he at? He's not at home. I mean, he's not her at home, so I'm like, he must be out somewhere. So, I give the kids to the neighbor, and I go looking for him. So, I'm looking for him like a Spectre gadget. I see him. I finally spot the car, and I see him in the car, and it's a dog on the passenger side, and the thought nah, was tucked that... at the bottom of the um, passenger seat, but the dog was sitting on the passenger seat with his head out. That so we go sound. into a speed chase, like, down Broadway. Everybody looking like... They think I'm, like, the popos, and he is, like, the criminal. I'm, we just speeding down Broadway. <laughs> and he jumped over this, di this ditch, like, in our truck, like... Like, leap, like it's a movie, jump over a ditch. Like Dukes of Hazzard, yeah. 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 Like a big jump over the ditch and drive yeah. off into the sunset with his dog and the thot under the seat of the uh, car. M Mr. Allen, <laughs> were, 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 you, were you being chased in the car with a thot and a dog? I, I'm, I, I was, but... I was, but we were, we really... We weren't together then. We'd be having our break, so... Uh, you were on a break. We yeah, were married. We... I'm, well... Married people be separated, but, you know, we was on our break and stuff, so, you know, I was doing me. When she on her break, she do her. I was at the store, finna go downtown and chill with one of my friends. Like, we weren't having sex or doing none of that. It was just a female. But you were so, still living in the house, the same house together when this happened, you and she? Mr. and Mrs. Allen, you were both staying in the same house when this happened? Uh, well, we, we was co-parenting, but... <laughs> But First were you staying in the yeah. same house? That's all I'm asking. Yeah. I'm not uh, saying that you were together. I'm just asking, did you, were you residing in the same home? Yes. Okay. Now, Mr. Allen, you say that though you admit to having cheated in the past, you changed, but she won't treat you as if you've changed. <sighs> Explain that to me. Uh, I mean, well... I don't let like him gather still, up his thoughts, she, but I have she, my... She, hang on. She's still holding on to, like, the past, like, so... So how long have you been a... been a... been a, a righteous brother with no cheating? <laughs> you say with who? How, how long you been a righteous brother no, not cheating? <laughs> I've been a white, righteous brother ever since I get out... I came home from prison. Okay. Like, that, that, so that, you that, haven't that, cheated on her since then? No, no, and how no. long ago was that? That was, uh... Since I came home? Yeah. I came home in March two, that was a 2018. He's just now trying to be <sighs> faithful. So, a little over a year you've been faithful? Yes. Okay. But she won't let go of the past? No, she... I mean, I... I don't think so. I don't think she... She still got it in her mind. I'm still cheating. Because Ms. Allen, do you person. think he's still cheating? I'm not sure. I mean, he... Probably with porno sites for right now, but like. No. <laughs> yes, Hang he on, do. go ahead, Mrs. Allen. He cheats with the porno sites for right now. But you know that would lead to something though. else. So, but I asked you. We'll talk about that. I understand. I, I, got, I understand. You, you, it's a matter. Of, it's a matter of how you define it. Go ahead. Yes, he. Uh, like I even explained to him. I'm like, we cheating. If you're watching porno sites, that's cheating. Like. And but then we just she got back wanna, together. She don't ever want to do nothing. She don't ever want to do nothing to, like, please, you know, satisfy her husband. So because I won't go you got to earn that. So you can't just right. stay home and take care of it at home. Yeah, you know so what I'm you saying? won't go out and do the wrong yeah, thing. So, you know. Is your love life and, less than, than luscious? Um, <laughs> um, I love I'm talking life. to her. Is your love life less than luscious? Less than yes, than. like we. Why is it less than luscious? Because what he... do less than luscious? What is, what he is gets... that? <laughs> what... I'm sorry. It means I'm asking if 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 if, if you guys' sex life like is get less the flame than good. Go out, like yeah, get, uh... if, if, is it not happening no more? Uh, yeah, ain't, no more not ain't no more lights. Ain't no flames okay. going on no more. Because... Why is it not popping? Because he sits up here and accuses me of things I didn't do. He studied cheating, like. 
After, like, when we got married, after our wedding, he it, it was one of his sad chicks at our, after our wedding. Well, after we got married, when we went outside, one of his sad chicks, or one of, the, one, one of the girls that he used to mess around with or like him, was outside of, uh, of the wedding and just awkward. And I even addressed him with it, and he no, didn't even really say I... nothing. He acted like it wasn't nothing. So, of course, I'm gonna be like this because you just now trying to be this good man within six months when it, we've been together. Well, knew each other 17 years, sound, been married like, seven if I years. Change for the better, so I it's hard for, the for better. me. It's hard for me to believe him when he say he want to be right, but he still throw shots at me because he'll think that. What I'm kind right. of thoughts, that, uh, shots is he throwing at you? I don't like understand. I'm cheating. I'm the one that's um, that want to mess around. Oh, I see. Cause she, I see. He she looking at. Because he, he she looking at other men. Every time guilt. we out, she looking at other men. Like she. Like we'll be out, like we'll be out walking. It's like she can't help herself. Like, <laughs> like she. Really? So, so let me ask you this: Have you ever caught her cheating? Uh, like came in the room and seen them. No, like... but 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 you know <laughs> anything. What's your best evidence that she she has interests elsewhere? I mean, him being delusional like he is. He accused me of doing stuff I don't do. She That's... texted him soon. The, no, the I did not. That was, was not the same like, day. The, you delusional. Like, like, she's saying the date was not the same day. Was on her. It said she texted on the days that night. That I night. Yeah, OK. The, OK, I her. hear what you're saying. OK, I go through the phone. We, we, we do it. We have sex. I go to work. I come back, I see a text on the guy, like right after we have sex and I go to work. That's a lie. He, he say, she, no, he texts her and say, what's up? She say, you know that's she, say, what you try, she say, what you trying to get some, she say, what, he say, she said, what you trying to, she said, you trying to get, okay. I got Some of the good thing. Let's just say, call there, it the good she, thing. She said, basically, did, did he want to have sex? He sent back an emoji like, mm, like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Did like, you ask some other guy, so, did he want to have sex right after you just had sex with him? No, Yana, that was like two, three weeks before me and him got together. That's that was an old lie. text. She, that's, that's mm -hmm. Him being delusional like he is, he accused me of doing stuff I don't do. She that... texted him soon. The, no, the I did not. Was that was not her. the same like, day. You delusional. Like, she saying the and that was not the same day. Was on her. It said she texted on the days that night. That I night. Yeah, OK. The, OK, I hear what you're saying. You say that he's controlling, so much so that he tries to manage everything you wear. Tell me about yes. that. Oh, my gosh. Like, one day, I was, it was hot. Like, in St. Louis, it was like 90 degrees in St. Louis. And so, you got to wear hot, I mean, shorts and, like, look, tank, tank top. So, I bought me some that, red, that pretty, mean, dress high like red a hoe, shorts. You know, so. I put them on. I put on a little black shirt. I'm in the house all day, so I'm not going to be outside. I walk yeah, past him. He like, oh, no, no, -uh, no, -uh, you can't wear that. You can't wear that. That's hoish. That's not how a wife. That's not how a wife wore, uh, wore her clothes and ripped it off of me. I mean, yeah, I even got a video. What a video well, is. Let me see. Show him the video. Then you can, you can and, respond. And, and ripping my clothes off. Let like, me see. Let me see the video. Off. These are my clothes that my husband decided to rip up and bleach of mine. I don't. I barely make ends meet now, or as it is. But he want to get mad and. Uh, and controlling and demanding and feel like these are horish clothes that I shouldn't wear. So he threw him a fit and bleached all my clothes. I got, I, I got it, I got it. He ripped that Mr. Allen, what do, you, what do you say happened there? <sighs> all right. <It's>, Stop. <laughs> Sorry. It's, 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 it's a respect thing, you know, then, like, so, so when she act out, she wanna, she wanna put on these shorts you know what I'm saying? Then make it bad enough, like the history of me and her, you know, with this cheating back and forth. So you should make, you know, we should make each other feel comfortable. So I feel like she's saying, me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see what you're saying. You know, so it, it, it's, a, it's a respect. I'm not trying to be controlled, and I just want my respect as a man. So, like, you go outside, you got on these shorts, your cheeks hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's who. But like, why rip them up? I'm like around that. the house. Then she don't. She don't, she don't wanna, she don't wanna, you know. Do she, you get mad if she wears that stuff inside the house, yes. though? Um, what man would get mad? I was inside I, the house. What house man would get that? mad at her wearing it in the house? I'm, I'm that's like, what you will, that's what she's saying. Yeah, like, I, know. I, want, want, I went to the mailbox to get the mail and went in the house. around the house naked. Why would I and he ripped them off. Uh -huh. with, with some skimpy stuff on around the house? He bought her this little red dress and everything, you know, and it's Valentine's Day, so you know what's going on, what they doing, so. 
she tried to keep the dress and wear the dress while, you know, while we together and like, you know what I'm saying? So, so. Did you get a dress from another dude while he was down and you tried to keep it and wear it in front of him? When I was locked up, she messed up with this guy, you know what I'm saying, when I was, when I was mm -hmm. locked up. And, you know, on Valentine's Day, they went out. You know, she got, he bought her this little red dress and everything, you know, and it's Valentine's Day, so you know what's going on, what they doing. So she tried to keep the dress and wear the dress while, you know, while we together. And, like, you know what I'm saying? So, so... Did you get a dress from another dude while he was down and you tried to keep it and wear it in front of him? No. I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> casual about gestures and all, but that's a lot. I mean, Your Honor, that dress was like a $750 dress, and I kept it. I was going to sell it. Well, you, I never ruined it no, for him. I told him, let me keep it, it until I sell it and we get some money out of it. We either were selling clothes and he at, at, at a time. You even and told me that I can keep it, and then I was going to rip it up. to get no money for it. Like... Well, you know, you know, can I say this, Mr. Allen? I understand what you're saying. Part of your problem is that you cheated on her, and now that you have that guilty mind, you see that cheat coming back at you. Another part of your problem is she's done other things when you were down and doing other things. She was with other guys. So you got two things that you're trying to deal with. The only thing I ask of you is this. Don't be ripping clothes up off her. Don't be tearing up stuff. Yeah, we can't cross that line where we get aggressive with one another because of our fears and concerns. And that's what it is, fear and concern about what she may be doing and how you might get hurt. Mm -hmm. You want $1,500 from him. Explain to me why. Mrs. Allen, now it's time to talk. Oh, I, thought you were <laughs> you. I said Mrs. Allen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You want $1,500. Why? Because he broke my smart TV. Um, one what did he do? Night, one night, you know, he wanted to go to... We was in the room, chilling. He wanted to go to the store. It was, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm laying in the bed. I am a little lazy, so I'm laying in the bed. He like, oh, well, let's go to the store. We need to go to the store. I said, I'm not going to go to the store at 2 o'clock in the morning. He said, oh, why? Come on, we need to really go to the store. I need to go get me something from the store. I told him no, and he boom, no. punched my TV and broke it, like... <laughs> Yank punched it like this and it broke. That, that I have a picture of not, the TV right there. Is that that's the TV? Not... Well, you tell me what you think happened, Mr. Allen. First, well, first of all, like I told you, it's, it's all on her terms. Like, like when a little money hit her on a cord or something, or you know, or, or she got to go out late night, then you know it's okay. But like when it when it's me trying to do something, then she she, she you know she... tripping and got an attitude and right. stuff, and you no, know, but. That's not why. I, that's not why I broke the TV. Why I, did you break the TV? <laughs> I, I, it was, I, it was a. That was the reason. If I could just transfer like <laughs> forty percent of her words over you, <laughs> I would be so happy. <laughs> I want you to say less and you to say more. <laughs> why? Why'd you break the TV? I wanted my respect, like. Like, that's, that's, how only, get it? that's the only way I feel like I, like, with her, I can, I can give my respect with stuff, like, cause... Does that, does that make her be quiet? When you break TVs, does that make her be quiet? Does that get you where you want no, to go? No, it does not. No, but, like, it, I, like, I feel better and we'll be even, like, so... That, that's it. You hit it right and nail on the head. It's wrong as all get out, but you're right about why you did it. Can I beg mm -hmm. you? I mean, beg on my hands and knees on behalf of your children that you guys level up. And you put it so beautifully, it's a shame that you understand it, but you can't deal with it. <laughs> you know, I break stuff not because it makes her quiet, not because it gives me control, but it evens the gore and it makes me feel better. Oh, my Lord, what kind of example are you setting for your children? I don't get what I want. <laughs> and then I break something. If your kids learn, don't get what you want, break something, and take that into the street. Yeah. I saw how you conduct your business. Mm -hmm. You razz him, you press him, you push him, you're ignorant. There's this false sense of strength in the tone of your voice and the level of your volume, and it's not strength. It, it's weakness. It is a lack of vocabulary.
important. It is a poverty of the soul that allows you to disrespect the father of your children in that manner. I know what's going on on the YouTube, not the YouTube like I'm saying, on YouTube and all that, everybody. You got the wrong sister today. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't model that. All you guys are doing is trying to one-up each other, and every time you do it, you are kicking the legs out from under your kids. Yeah. It's a truck, it's a TV, it's a phone, and I bet you ain't got no college fund or nothing for them kids need to do something extra. You ain't got it. Kids need braces, you ain't got it. You got a, you know, you got a truck, you got a big TV that you broke. You didn't even respect it, so you won't buy a new TV, I know, if you haven't already done it. But where are the kids' stuff? They need some extracurriculars. Where they money? They at the TV store when you buy TV after TV after TV. Ho, limole. I'm so mad, I don't know what to do. Now, you listen to me. When you leave here, you need to leave here different people. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what you've seen. I don't care what nobody did for you, didn't do to you. You have been told what your conduct is doing to your children. You have been put on notice. So what happens from today forward with respect to your children is all on you. I don't want to hear about environment. I don't want to hear about nothing. You know better, because I told you. Don't give her money for nothing. You guys both are both in there trifling, sad, and tired. But Mr. Allen, if you want due respect, if you want your manhood, you want to be the leader and all that kind of stuff, you got to step forward strong and right. You can't lose your temper. Do you understand what I'm saying? You want to lead, lead with that. You want to be respectful, be that guy. You with me? Yep. I don't know, I just feel like getting even better, cause like... No, it's not. <sighs> it's killing your kids. Get even makes you feel good at the cost of your children. If you're how you feel in the moment is more important than your children's future, keep it up. Keep it up, brother. <sighs> Let your kids down. It don't matter. <sighs> there will be no recovery in this matter. It is good. The judge said you guys gotta leave here and be different people, that you have to level up. What's your reaction to hearing that? I'm gonna take heed of that. I really believe that we can try, I mean, we can do good if we try. Like, I'm gonna take heed on everything that just said to me because she was so right. Like, I was, like, I, the way I talked to him is not, like, good. But we're hoping Judge Lynn got through to him. Do you think she did today? Yeah, I believe she did. Okay, all right, well, that's the luck. We'll see. Thank all right. you. Judge, today's case is Sugar Daddy. He is intelligent, he is strong. She is bright, she is beautiful. She's also 27 years younger than him. I wonder how this is gonna work out. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Adam Phillips and Bianca Tony. The two of you have been together for three and a half years living together for two years. Mr. Phillips, you are 55. Ms. Tony, you are 27. <laughs> you don't think you're gonna make it, so as you leave, Mr. Phillips, you want that flat screen TV. Yes, I and do. And that's what you've come here for. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, before we talk about that, I wanna talk a little bit about your relationship. So, Mr. Phillips, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today. We are here today because of preconceived notions, judgments, and misconceptions. But tell me Be about them all. Because you stated, and as you stated, there is like a 27-year age difference between the two of us. So people who don't even know us automatically assume that I'm some sort of a sugar daddy, and mm -hmm. it's a sugar daddy relationship. Mm -hmm. Why that incenses me so is because 
I am not a sugar daddy. The fact that I'm older than yeah, her he is... he doesn't have any money. Is, uh, <laughs> oh! That hurt me all the way over here, and it wasn't even directed this way! Whoa! Yeah. is definitely true. And in addition to that, I might piggyback and add, even though we live together, I'm not getting any sugar. Yeah. At all? I am hypoglycemic right now, is what I'm trying to tell you. I like him already. <laughs> if you catch my drift. You mean to tell me you two have been living together for two years and there's no sexual relationship there at all? There is no yep. sexual relationship at all. We have intimacy. We do not have sex. She wants to be married before we have sex. Ms. Tony, tell me, a 27-year age difference, yeah. that's huge. How do you... <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's... So what do you have to say? <laughs> well, first, uh, I, I think it's quite odd to mm -hmm. people outside looking in because they look at me and they're like, you're very young and he's much older. But, you know, to me, he's very sweet and there are things that I like about him. But then there are also things that I don't like, which is why we're here right now. Okay, tell me about some of those things you don't like. Okay, so when we first moved in together, I came home from work and I noticed Adam was just sitting there. He gets home hours before me, like at least, I would say at least three to four hours before me. And he's literally just sitting at the table, and I'm like, why are you sitting at the table? He's like, I'm waiting for you to make me something to eat. I was like, just order some takeout. And he's like, no, you should cook. That's woman's work. That's something that you should do. Yeah. Mr. A M M Mr. Phillips, did you say that? I may have said that once, and I quickly changed the error of my way. So what I... <laughs> I yeah. figured that if I don't change the air of my ways with the quickness, I ain't never gonna get any sugar. Right, I right, right. Cooking. Right. I so you let that alone. You learned your lesson oh, and learned let my that alone. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Right. I started making stofers. I started making <laughs> grilled cheese. <laughs> I started getting Boston Market uh, pepper steak. And Finding a way. Yeah. Finding a way because she had a valid point. We both do work, and I do get home before her. But that's not the the crux of the problems of our relationship. What's the crux, the crux of the problem? The crux would be we met some years ago, 2013, on a set of some TV show where I was a chess teacher and she was a student. Okay. She became interested in chess and we exchanged social media information and... Oh, look at that. And we... Uh, look, look, look behind you, it's a cute uh, picture. Yeah, no. yeah, that's the That's a cute picture. You studying the board? She's, yeah. She's Jesus. That's yeah. why I'm studying the board. Oh! Yeah, that's you didn't ask why I'm picture. studying. Why are you studying? Because I taught her and now she beats me. Ooh. She's a very, very, very quick learner. She's a critical thinker. She's good on her feet. She stops. She knows consequences and she knows I taught her only too well how to think before you move. Now, where she gets upset with me as far as us getting to the next stage of engagement and marriage is I'm thinking before I move. Wow. Real I like y'all already. I don't, know, I don't care what else happens in this session. I'm enjoying the nature of the conversation all together. It's a whole <laughs> different kind of thing going on. Well, now, Ms. Ms. Tony, who's really dragging their feet on the marriage part? Yeah. Mr. Mr. Phillips? Yes. There are, are you dragging your feet? I am not dragging my feet. I'm biding my time and making sure that I do this properly. This will be, not would, will be my third marriage. Um. And this will be my first, if we get Right, Correct. right, right. Uh, her, so you want to make sure, so. I want to make sure I am sure I have people who are against it. I have her people, her family, who is against it. I have my son, who unfortunately is older than her. Who is also not really gung ho about it, shall we say? Speaking of which, we do have him available by Skype. No way. Yes, we do. So it's hard uh, to meet again. How did you get him? Hey, we work hard over here. Apparently. Uh, Stephen Phillips, how are you, sir? Hello, Your Honor. I'm doing just fine. Bianca Tony, she seems like a delightful young lady. Why are you against this union, or are you against this union? 
So, Your Honor, respectfully, I do not like the union. In fact, I am against it for the mere reason that, one, she's my age, two, her and my father have very little in common, and three, if she wasn't with my father, I would have bagged that a long time ago. So. <laughs> Excuse me, I am still your father. Apologies, Dad, really? but I'm just, I'm just being frank. I'm just you went all it out the way there, there Mr. Phillips. Oh, my. Thank you for my. the flattery, but she's taken. Now, Mr. Phillips, younger, the younger I'm gonna call you, Stephen, because I got two <laughs> Mr. Phillips here. Do you get along with her, though? Is there, is, if your father does marry her, w do you think it would be a happy union? Is it something you would support, even though it's not initially something you liked? Well, in fact, my father, I, I do see that he's happier, but it's hard for me to be happy for him because she's, she's much younger than him. I mean, I'm, I'm having thoughts about her. It's, it's not normal when you have thoughts about, you know, your stepmother, so it's, it's, it's hard for me to be happy. Oh, well, that was very honest. Thank you for that, Stephen. Mr. Mr. Phillips, do you have anything you'd like to say to your yes, son? Yes, I do. We so got to right talk. Go right ahead. We got to talk. You ain't too big to beat. We got to talk. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen, thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it. Now, you got to be prepared for more of that, Miss, Miss, Miss Tony. You know, my husband and I, we get up there. I'm 60 years old. We be like, yeah, baby, we can go to bed at 9 o'clock. Yeah, you know what I mean? We, we excited, right? Nine, Listen, nine, nine, let's take a nap. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, it's just like, we really want to sleep. It was like, yeah. Are you concerned? as you look 20 years down the road, 40, 30 years down the road, that this age difference will be so great that you will be caring for an elderly parent as opposed to growing old with the man that you chose. I do think about that sometimes. I wonder where he'll be when I'm 55. It does cross my mind, but as it stands, he doesn't have any health conditions, and I do try to make sure that, you know, we work out and we eat healthy, because I do want him to be here for the long run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is why I try to make sure no soda, very little sugar, stay healthy, checkups every six months, uh, lots of cardio, health. But that don't stop time. Time? <laughs> Even if we only wind up having 20 good years together, some couples who get married or who are together for a while, they don't even get 20 good years together. Mm -hmm. So I will take 20 healthy, happy, compatible, despite what my son said, years. We have compatibility to spare. We dance. I taught her how to do the dance to hustle. Are you familiar with the dance to hustle? I am indeed. I'm five years older than you. Yeah. So, yeah. I taught her how to do the hustle. <laughs> there we are. That's us right there. That's us. <laughs> I taught her that in Champ, New York City. But I do things that he likes, but he doesn't like to do things that I like. It, Here it comes. What things that you, do you like that he won't do? Okay, so I'm a Halloween baby. I was born on Halloween. So for Halloween, it's my birthday and I have a Halloween party. Right. So I was having a Halloween party and I invited some friends over and we were having a good time. And he's over there snoring, sleeping in the corner. And I'm like, you can't do this. You know, we're hosting people. You can't be sleeping at the party. So I said, okay, let's slow things down. Let's play a little bit of Jenga. This man falls asleep on the Jenga blocks, and obviously, if the blocks fall down, you lose. So we lost. Yeah. <laughs> now, you got to be prepared for more of that, Miss, <laughs> Miss, Miss Tony. You know, my husband and I, we getting up there. I'm 60 years old. We be like, yeah, baby, we can go to bed at 9 o'clock. Yeah, you know what I mean? We, we excited, right? Nine, Listen, nine, 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 let's take a nap. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, it's just like, and we really want to sleep. Yeah, it was like, yeah. You know, my... The sun doesn't need to be down in order to go to bed. We can just years go. Ago, 20 years ago, my best friend was Budweiser. Today, my best friend is chamomile tea. I tell you, <laughs> I think it's Chamomile tea, it relaxes you. Little... You know he's not going to be able to roll hard. But he has to roll like hard you... because he's rolling with me. I'm his partner. Yeah, but 65 is 65 is 65. I know you're only 55, but with right. 10 years away, I'm, I'm presuming a healthy life. It's still what it is, you know what I mean? If he's, he's, he's napping now, <laughs> 65, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Has he been separated from her for a while? Yes. I have. You have? Separated, divorced. Yeah, separated, divorced, and not she, together. She... Do, do, you, do you still have feelings for any of your exes? I do not. I do not. None I do not. Uh-oh. I do. Are you unsure, Ms. Tony? You say that his family tolerates you, but really believes in their heart of hearts that you're a rebound for him. Yes. Who is he rebounding from? Um, his second wife. And has he been separated from her for a while? Uh, I would think so, yes. I have. You have? Separated, divorced. Yeah, separated, divorced, and not she, together. She... Do, do, you, do you still have feelings for any of your exes? I do not. I do not. None I do not. Uh-oh. I do. Are you unsure, Ms. Tony? No, I just wanted to make sure, because, you know, now, since, you know, he has to tell the truth, we in court, I had to make I sure. I do not. Like... You do not? I do not. It not is at all. It is important, however, for a man to have a civil relationship with the mother of his children. Absolutely. I agree 100%. You do not know, thank you. 100%. Thank you. 100%. For those of you who do not know, I have four children, one of which you met, and I have five grandchildren. So the camaraderie that I have with them is important. Absolutely. They need to know that there's a strong male figure in their life that checks on them on a daily basis. Let the whole church say amen. Amen. I'm right with you on that. That's right. And like, Let me and ask like, you this, Mr. Phillips. Sure. Have you asked yourself why these prior two marriages... Because you seem like a reasonable dude. Why these prior two marriages didn't work? Is there a common denominator? Is there a theme? Sometimes some couples, unfortunately, can outgrow each other. It could be career choices. It could be one wants to live in California, one wants to live in New York. It could be irreconcilable differences. Now, the last one I had, luckily, thank God, lasted 16 years. Uh huh. So my reluctance or my apprehension or my caution, I gave her a promise ring, and I'm going and to I keep hate my promise. Right. And I'm going to keep my promise. But I don't want to rush into it because an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Mm. We have to make sure that we're sure. What are you still unsure about? I am... It's not that I'm unsure. It's that I don't get any support from, as you see, my oh, son family. and from her parents. I go over the house. She's of Haitian descent. I went there for Thanksgiving. Big, elaborate dinner. Nobody's speaking to me. They're speaking in Creole. I don't happen to speak Creole. They were offended because some of the Creole dishes I didn't really like. Cotton, too. Yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah, they're just kind of hot, kind of spicy. Yeah, I yeah, like my yeah. food spicy, too, but... But that's since spicy. Since it's Thanksgiving, spicy. Yeah. I kept it safe. Macaroni and cheese, yams, stuffing, <laughs> turkey. Turkey. So they were like, we made all this fancy stuff, lumbi and black rice. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good with just this. So they start speaking Creole, and the only other word that they said in English was Adam, which leads me to believe... <laughs> they were talking about it, too. Talking about me. <laughs> Yeah, which is very uncomfortable. Yeah, do you speak Creole? I do. They're... Were they talking about him? Mm. Mm. You're on TV now. Uh-huh. Were they talking about him? Look at that smile. <laughs> all, all nice things, of course. All nice things, of course. <laughs> yes. Let me ask you this question. Do you want children? Of course, yes. Do you want more children? I am open to it, but it is not at the top of my list, no. I mean... That's as, on that's as honest as When my youngest left the house, my husband and I bought a new smaller house so he wouldn't come back. <laughs> 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 I mean... You can love him. Love all of them. But at, at some point, you get tired of these people. Do you, do you, do you, are you ready to start that 20-year ride again? I mean... Because it's important to her. Children are such a blessing, I can't see why he wouldn't want to. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't had teenagers yet. No. Amen. I'm <laughs> right? a babysitter, so I know what it's like to be around kids. No! <laughs> if there's anything that, and I hope it doesn't, because I do love her very much, if there's anything that will drive a final wedge between us and make us go separate ways, it won't be the age difference. It won't what will be, it be? It will be the fact that, in my heart of hearts, I really don't want any more children. So I would, 
I would acquiesce and I would you do it. You didn't tell me that before if, we got here that you didn't want any more if, children? In my heart of hearts, if it happened, it happened and I would welcome the blessing. But it would not be something that I would set out and try to do. He's just not telling me this. He never told me that he didn't want him. You guys have to have that conversation because children are serious business. Why didn't you tell business. me that before? Why didn't you tell me you was flirting with my son? I was never flirting with him. <laughs> That's what uh, I'm going to talk to him. He's an admirer of me. I'm not an admirer of him. Why didn't you difference? tell me this? All right, all right, all right. You my favorite couple in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think you are intelligent, charming, interesting, well-spoken, considerate, considered people that I would enjoy knowing on a regular basis, not just in here. I just think, I just, I like your sense of humor. I like your sense of calm. I, I, I think you're both terrific people. I'm concerned, however, about that age difference. I know how important it was for me to have kids. And I know how, what a struggle it is to have kids when you're older. And you guys got to make show, show, faux show you on the same page with that. Because, you know, taking little Johnny out to T-ball at 65 <laughs> is more than a notion. You know what I mean? I wish I could make this magically work. Thank I just, you. I just I've already I given could. it three years of my youth. Yeah. Well, uh, you got more youth than he's got, so. <laughs> you all right. You just you know it just fine. Johnny. <laughs> Based on her last statement and your rebuttal, if we've established nothing else here today, we have established that I am old. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us, Mr. Mr. Phillips. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Best of luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Judge, today's case is Kick Rocks. Today we have a lady with a whole lot of heart, a whole lot of kids, and a whole lot of complaints. Now we have to figure out if any of them are valid. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Tanya Merritt and Telly Arnold. The two of you have been together for four years, engaged for two. You do not have any children together, but you have seven. I've got three of my own, and then I adopted four. They're, but and you mine. adopted one 60-year-old man. Yes, yes, I've had Because he years. was disabled. Correct. And, and I was not. That's my heart. He's, I love him. He's yeah, mine. I get it. I get it. And Mr. Arnold, you you have some children from previous relationships as well. Yes. Ms. Ms. Merritt, you are suing Mr. Arnold for three thousand dollars for damages to her two thousand eight Dodge Avenger, and we're going to talk about that momentarily. But before we do, Ms. Merritt, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Your Honor, the reason I'm here today is because I want him to go. He is nothing but another child in my life, and I don't need another child. I've got 13 children that I'm raising of my own. Right. I don't need another one. Your Honor, my anniversary was one of the specialist days of my life because right. he's never done that for me. Mm -hmm. He's never even had a date, never. In the almost five years we've been together, he's not put me on one date, not nothing. And the night of my anniversary, I go home, to find him cheating on me on a dating website with another woman, but yet I didn't find it. My children found it. And then when I get out of the tub, I've got to go in there to hear, Mama, get his phone, get his phone. So I walk over there and I get it and I go in the bedroom and there's this woman and the first thing it says are, you with this crazy, you still dealing with this crazy B? Mr. Arnold, did that occur? Yes, ma'am, it did. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? Well, I am sorry that that happened. You I always say you're sorry. That. And at the time that I couldn't talk to her 
And so I was talking to another female. We Your Honor, should he go to another female we, to talk about we, our yeah, relationship? It's, it's, hang on, it's, hang it's, on, Ms. Mer I'm, Mr. Arnold, Mr. Arnold, Mr. Arnold, Mr. Arnold. When you say you couldn't talk to her, what do you mean? Your Honor, when I get a chance to talk to her, it seems like that my words don't get accepted. But it, it does on a dating website. It, Ms. Merritt, it, Ms. Merritt, it, I'm gonna it, give it you an opportunity. Into, Sorry, Your Honor. It, she, it won't go into her ear way I can communicate with her or let her know how I feel. She don't respond. It seems like I get the cold shoulder. Mm -hmm. And so why should sure I get do. the cold shoulder in the house? Do you know why you're getting the cold shoulder? I mean, she just don't. She don't just. You just don't think respond. she's interested. What do you think the problem is? Now that I don't know. You. Well, let's ask. <laughs> okay, Ms. Merritt. He's why do you problem. give him the cold shoulder? He's the problem. He is a cheater. He makes me and my children fight 24/7. Yeah, I don't. He make acts like a on. child. He is a child. He argues with my all my children. How does he make? How does he make you and your children fight? What does he do? He will say one thing. He gets mad if I go buy my children's shoes. I didn't buy him none. He walks around pouting. Oh, and I tell him, pick you out a pair of shoes, Telly. No, no, I don't want none. But then when we get home, I don't talk. He don't talk to me or the rest of the family all night long. He gets on his phone. Da, 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 da. Did That's you... him all night Mr. long. Mr. Arnold, did you get mad because she bought her kids' shoes and none for you? I got mad because when she do do that, and when she offered to buy me something, then I say no. And then she get mad at me for me, for me saying no. For me being, like, I'm being selfish. But I don't Man, want... Man, you're childish. Uh, hey, you're gonna have to explain that to me again. I didn't get it the first yeah. time. You all know. She gets mad when you say no, you don't want something? Yeah. Do you pout? I mean, I do pout. Yes, Lord, I you do. do. You do. I do. Like, I do. What do you pout about? I pout that when she offered, when I don't have the money to buy it. But if I have hey, the money, hey, no, 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 let me finish it because I'm really trying to understand about this. About time. Hey, uh. Miss Miss Merritt, hush! I'm really trying to understand this. Yeah. She Got offers it. to buy you something. You say no, then but you end up pouting because she get mad because I don't get it. She gets mad because you say no, you don't want something. Correct. Correct. And so you oh, pout. Your Honor. Correct. I, that makes no sense to me. It doesn't, Your Honor. That makes no sense and to I me. And I have lived with this for five years. Look, look, he look. don't make no sense. It's, I don't know if, I don't know, but he just don't make no sense. You're both working, yes? Him. Who works? He works, I'm disabled. But uh -huh. I bring in the money and I pay the bills. Uh-huh. Do you say he causes <laughs> problems between you and your children. Can you explain that to me? Give me some examples. This is just, just this morning at the motel. I told him that my son Jimmy was gonna use our car tonight to explore Atlanta. And he was like, well, I thought we was going somewhere. He, that's issues between him and my son. And so he makes me get in the middle and, or he'll come to me and he'll say, why are you letting the boys do this tonight? Or why are you letting the kids do this? My youngest child, he sits there. She, she comes home from school. She does her homework. He sits there and argues with her the same as like he was her Like age. he was her age. Do, do you not get along with her kids? You know, I get along with her kids. She I like she in a relationship with her kids. They build a you porch for me and they couldn't even do that. I like she in a relationship with her kids. You damn right I am I'm because that's Yana, my, what that, I live for. Y Yana, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Hold up. I, 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 and I'm not being funny. I really just didn't understand what you said. Your Honor, she acts like she in a relationship with her kids. She acts he's like she's in a, She should be. Right. She's their mother. He yeah, means I, I understand. that I spend more time. I understand I she's, a, she's their mother, Your Honor, but they got a life to live. We got ours. Okay. So, they so what does she do that's too much? Give me an example. Um. Okay, when they have money, they can have money in their pocket. We end up buying them stuff, and instead of them saying, no, mom, I got this, you just save your money and stuff like that. But what kids do you know <laughs> say, no, yeah. mom, I don't want it? And I'll tell you, I'm sorry. It's, it's if they know the, circ they know the circumstances, Your Honor, but they don't care. They shouldn't know the circumstances. I they should be not the getting your why they don't like If him. your mother offers you something, they take it. I'm epileptic. These not, they're not supposed to be worried about how well you roll. 
You just some dude in their house. The only time they go out is when my mama paying for it. And like... Have you taken her out on a date? She said you never took her out on a date, have you? Hey, it's, it's a date between me and her, not between me, her, and everybody else. I, that's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking, have you taken her out on a date? No. Mr. Arnold, we're not gonna get along at all. Uh, your son Jimmy Merritt is here, is he not? Yes, ma'am. I would love he to is. talk to him, Nick. <laughs> Mr. Merritt, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. Uh, good. Tell me what you see going on in your house between your mother and Mr. Arnold. Basically, Judge, I don't like telling. I don't. I don't want him and my mama together. Tell me like, why. Like, my mama, she got health problems, and, like, she has seizures and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, she'll have a seizure. I'll walk in her room. He'll be sitting right there, and we'll all be in the living room watching TV, and he wouldn't even come get us to let her know she having a seizure. And, like, I know I've been with my mama my whole 22 years. Like, I know, I know how to take care of my mama when she having seizures. And, like, I just feel like... Does you she have a seizure and you just sit there? No, Your Honor. I, I don't sit there. What do you when, do? When she do have one, I do go to her and get her where I could position her where she won't lay on her back and, and chew up her tongue. I do do that. When I do do that, and then that's when I call them in. Mr. Mayor, what else do you see going on in the house that, that, that you're concerned about? Like, he always trying to cause conflict between my mama and my siblings. Give me some examples. Like, one time I, I asked to use my mama's car, and she always tell me to bring it back, whatever gas I used to bring it back. So I took a picture of it where I had put gas in, because I knew when I brought it back, I thought, I knew Taylor was going to go out there and make and some take a type... look and make, a, make an issue. Yeah, make an issue. So as soon as I pull in, what he do, he come out there and look at the gas tank and go in there and tell my mama it's on E. So no, that's, that's a lie. No, Man, it's not. You, it ain't no lie. Your Honor, so I got two I, people I had against a picture, me. Two. I had a picture of the gas tank. I went and showed my mama that it, the car wasn't on E. So he lied. I, I showed her where he lied, and they had got into an argument. And then he a grown leech. Like, this man works. The only time they go out is when my mama paying for it. And, like... Have you taken her out on a date? She said you never took her out on a date, have you? Hey, it's, it's a date between me and her, not between me, her, and everybody else. I, that's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking, have you taken her out on a date? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? When we do want to go you out reach? as me and her, we can't go out as me and her. We got the... We have everybody else in that circle. So for me and her to go out on the date, everybody in that circle cannot go on the out on a date but me and her. You're so honor. you've never taken her on one date? No. Are you, now, now he, he seems to be claiming that you want to take the kids everywhere and that's why he doesn't go anywhere with you. That's what do you say? That's not true, Your Honor. Just this past June, he took me to the Bahamas, but I paid for it. For my <laughs> birthday. My birthday. Did that happen? Hold, don't say right. nothing yet. When we got to the Bahamas from June 1st until we ain't had sex. So don't sit there and say it's about my kids because me and you, we was the only two on that damn boat. Y y know. Uh -uh. Y y he put, he put, it's like I gotta have an appointment to have sex with him. No. He'll put his little notes up there and start calling me how much, hey, I love you, sugar bear. Tell me how much he wants me to rest because he knows I just had a seizure, but yet then he's asking if we can have sex. It's not nothing about can we make like, love. Can I, can I, like, we gotta have an appointment. You agreed to be with me. You knew what package you was getting involved Your Honor. with. Your Honor. And if you don't like it, get yeah, kick rocks. Your Honor. You can't change, kick rocks. Why don't you think you get along with her kids? I, I do selfish. get along with her kids, but they, they use her, Your Honor. You In what, use me. They, stop, they, stop, stop. They, In what respect? They, oh, no, Your Honor, you they did grown. Not go there about my children. They, they grown. Not all of them. The, 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 but the, even the, the ones that are grown, grown they're the mine. They're grown. Okay, why? They mine. You got, when you got with me, I had all these children. You agreed to be with me. You knew what package you was getting involved with. And if you don't like it, get kick rocks. 
Young. You can't change, kick rocks. Cause these are all my youngins. Ms. Merritt, no. now hang on. I know you're upset. Hang she on. Can, she could say something, say, okay, she's not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Turn her right around and do it that same day. That's how me and her get in conflict. Mm -hmm. So if you say something, you turn around and do it, you know you don't need to do it. Your it Honor, I'm going to tell you the Why reason I'm it? so tired with my children. I got it. I got it. I got it. I, know, see, I no. see what's happening here. Uh, uh, Mr. Arnold, have a seat for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love talking to you. And, and young Mr. Merritt, it was wonderful for, yes, wonderful to meet you. And I'm going to ask you to go ahead and go. We've, we've heard enough. Thank you so much. Yes, I appreciate your coming. <laughs> now, Mrs. Merritt, I got rid of everybody else so you and I could have some girl talk. Okay. Here's what I think I see in you. I think I see a woman who has been hurt, who has been, who has, who is broken, who has a heart the size of Texas, because you don't adopt a grown, disabled guy because you're a selfish person. You do it because you have a huge heart. I think what happened <laughs> is you got love bombed by this dude. And this is how they do. They come in and they, and they say all the right things and they tell you all the stuff about how they're gonna fill all of those empty spaces in your heart. And once they got you in love, they do as they please. And he's jealous of what you do for your children. If anybody's jealous of what you do for your children, you don't need them. Now, what holds people back when they've been love-bombed by somebody is they hope against hope that they can get back to that place where they once were with them. You think that maybe one day that he could, he could be the guy he represented himself to be in the beginning, and you, wanna, you don't want to think that you've been duped or scooped or otherwise made a fool of, so you hope against hope that he might turn out to be the dude he represented himself to be. Let me tell you something, Ms. Merritt. You will not be the first woman, first man, first person to be duped by somebody who love bombed you and then laid on you and just decided to live off you. You're not won't be the first and you won't be the last. You are nonetheless beautiful, intelligent, smart, hilarious, uh, 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 and kind and giving and just all manner of terrific. You do not need him. I heard you say kick rocks. I want you to make it so. I, I want you to make it so. Now, come on back. Come on. Come on. I'm talking to you. Come back. You want $3,000 from this man. Tell me why. He has ruined my car. How he do you has do not. That? Your Honor, for the last two years, I've really been really, really sick. I ain't been able to do hardly anything. I sit in my room like I'm in prison. It's a 12 by 12. That's what I feel like a cell. I don't get in my car unless I go to the doctor and I only go twice a month. I mean, yeah. He works every day and I ask him, please put on a something. Stop putting all the metal in my car. He has ruined my car. There is so much metal in the interior inside of my car and his hands and him nasty. Put just my, I, that, you all that's got You got pictures, you got out. something? The only thing I do have is an auto repair invoice. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Thank you. He raked it twice. I got, I got you. I see. I, it's it, it's an auto repair invoice, but it's an 11 year old car, and you men in it, and you got kids, and I can't tag him with all that damage. I don't know what he did. You don't have any idea how much I'd love to give you some money. 
I mean, no, I would love to bang that gavel and say $3,000 in favor of Ms. Merritt, but I can't do that. Just because I, you know, just because, you know. I just said that. But out of the. That's all now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Merritt, kick rocks. Everybody, one, two, three. Kick, kick rocks! There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so horrible. All right, we all heard you a few times. You said it's time to kick rocks. Yep. Is this done for real? It's done. It's over. He's got to kick rocks. I've got my children to worry about, and if he can accept me and my kids and how I do my children, he don't need to be there anyway. I do love her, love her kids, and I put them before my needs. That's one thing the judge didn't need a chance for me to, for me to say nothing. Good luck to you. Thank you. Judge, today's case is monster-in-law. Today, we have the trifecta. A brand new baby, a meddling mother, and a video game. I feel like fussing already. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Selena Adjaman and Jamarcus Spates. Ms. Adjaman and Mr. Spates, you have been together for four years and you have one child together. Mr. Spates, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here in divorce court today? Well, Judge, uh, I got one particular thing to say. It's either me or her mother. I'm putting my foot down today. And it it got to get resolved. So he, her mother is dipping in your relationship? Her mother is always dipping in our relationship. Okay. Let me tell you about this one situation. It's one night we've been, we've been working, and we've been working all day, you know, so we finna go to the club. <laughs> Next thing you know, we getting ready. Next thing you know, she's knocking on the door. Oh, head did, nails done. Dress on. Okay. Look, no. like, I, I, her I, I, mother. You mad? Her mother. <laughs> her mother. Yes, her mom. I'm like, uh, you know, I, I ain't think nothing of it at first. Maybe she had a date or something. Look, you know, right, maybe, right? maybe she had a little something going on. I start listening to the conversation. She start asking Selena, "Where we going tonight? What we doing okay. tonight? That's where we finna way. go? <laughs> what you worried about? What we doing? Judge, you a respectable older lady. I know you not too. <laughs> That's all right. Don't, don't be afraid, young man. Don't be afraid. It's okay. It's all right. I am a respectable older lady. I'll own it. i own it. Go ahead. But, you know, I, I know you're not trying to go out with your, with your 20-year-old kids to see what they doing tonight. Right. You know, you're not trying to run along with them every weekend, you know? Right. Like, it, it's just like... Ms. Edgerman, is your mother running with you on the weekends? I mean, not all the time. We go out. That's my mom. Like, we like to hang out together. He just jealous. Yeah, that's jealous. your mom. He's just yeah, jealous. No He's just jealous, jealous first of all. That's my mom. Going to club. Like, we... <laughs> like, we... That's what we do. Like, we... You don't club. think We're it's like... bizarre to take your mother out on a date I mean, with your man? Oh. We don't do this every day. I mean, it wasn't even a date. We was just, like, going out, casually club. going out. It wasn't a date. And so, he's just mad, like... My mama trying to mommy, We're, like, best friends, so I don't <laughs> take her every day. Oh, like, man. it's what? not every time we what go out. That? But, I mean, I, I have mean, been... once, in, once in a while... Mr. Space, Mr. Space, Mr. Space. If he had a, a, a buddy that it was his best friend, would you want him alone? On your he outings? has. He has brought his friends along when we went out before. So I don't understand what's the problem. Twenty year old friends. We, but, not not but no forty year old man. Okay, not but no still, fifty you year old friend. Brought somebody along. My mom, oh, you know, right? my mom is like my best friend. So well, give me another example of, of of a time where you believe her Jealous. mother overstepped her bounds. Let me tell you a, a, another thing. It was one day she had to stay home sick from work. Yeah. She's throwing up all night, just sick. Just see, I mean, she could barely even walk. We sleeping <laughs> all day. All you hear the phone ring, and she picking it up every time. Her mama telling her, "You come, you come uh, upstairs because her mom lives in the same apartment building as us, but uh -huh. upstairs on the top floor." Okay. So she over here calling Selena. 
Uh, Selena, uh, you could come, uh, you could come do this, you could come do that, you could okay, come watch the my dog. Uh, you see? What? Okay, you now see? you do it extra. You see? That's my what, mom. What you... Did your mother ask you to do stuff for her while you were sick? Yeah, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but I mean, that's my mom. Like, we I understand. You know mom. what I mean? You talk, you say that's my mom. Yeah. We all have one. I know. Man. Or did at one point. And we all love them, and we're all, you know, what we're saying to you is it seems a little unusual the level of commitment that you two have beyond the daughter mother relationship. How about that? Like, I respect my mom. If my mom tells me to do something, I'm gonna do it. I've been raised, that, that's how I was raised. Mm -hmm. So, and he, I just feel like she he didn't care devil. that you were sick. She didn't give up. I him. mean, I didn't tell her I was sick. I wasn't that sick. Like, he's over it. He's overdoing it. You OD and, like, oh. it was not up, that sick. Up in the toilet. If I'm he's able to. The toilet. I was, that ain't. Oh, man, really? you better pass out. M Mrs. Really? Spades, tell me one more story <laughs> that would, would and, and, and suggest to me her mother is beyond. This is the deal breaker right here. This is the deal breaker. Oh I'm playing. I'm playing Call of Duty all night. Call next, <laughs> next thing you know, no, no, no. I'm. I, I, I've been at work all day though. Uh -huh. I've been at work all day. She, she brought up the little argument. You know, uh, you, you late. You know what I'm saying? Come on. You know this and that. Uh, I'm here. So next thing you know, it, it's a little argument. You can't even. You can't even hear. And the next thing you know, it's a knock on the door. Who is that at the door? I doubt is that it. the big bad wolf? I uh, doubt it. Hey, open the door. What y'all arguing about today? <laughs> what, what's the problem is? What the problem is? Every time I'm like, we over here arguing about what we gonna eat tonight. What you what you doing? What, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Ms. Edgerman, did did she come and knock on? Does she come and knock on the door when you guys are having arguments she, and in, intercede on your behalf? Okay, now I call what? her. I call her looking through the back door. You no. call her. <laughs> Her sometimes because like it's overwhelming. Like I'm tired of arguing. What do you I, argue about? If I ask him, if I ask him to just okay, for instance, my the baby. If I ask him to do something for me, if I'm busy right now because I do hair, so I'm doing hair. I'm asking him to watch the baby, and that's the problem. And so like he don't understand. He don't understand. Like I'm busy at the moment. You know what I'm saying? And so he, he just, thinks he can work and play Call of Duty yeah, and everything else is just, optional. Like, he's just free. Like he don't got nothing to do. So well, when you I'm get thinking... upset with him, you call your mother. Yeah, I call her. Well, let's call your and mother it... right now. Okay. Oh. 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 They finna call the wolf. They finna <laughs> call the wolf. <laughs> Mrs. Adjuman. Yes, ma'am. How are you? <laughs> oh Lord. I'm doing fine, Judge. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Why don't you tell me your beautiful daughter over here? She's sitting here with Mr. Spates. Mr. Spates says you spend um, too much time in their business. Please give me your point judge, of view on that. Okay. Okay, Judge. Um, first of all, mm. it, it should be my business because I'm the one taking care of my daughter. Every time I have to come over there and he's fussing with my daughter. The neighbors calling me because I stay upstairs. They're calling me, telling me that um, it's commotion going on downstairs. So they're, they're calling me, and I have to go and see because I don't want him putting his hands or, or making her upset because she just had a baby. But the baby's only three months old. As far as I heard what he said about me going out and stuff like that, I don't go out with them. He says that he's going to work. I wonder what job he has because I'm the one paying the bills what? over there. And I have to go to work every day, and I have a pacemaker, and I'm 50. So, yes, I'm going to spend time with my daughter, and that, yes, she is my best friend. So, if I have to step in and be there, I'm going to step in and be there. Okay. Thank you very much, Mrs. Ogerman. You were very clear. I appreciate that. She's supposed to take care of the kids, cook, clean, and all that kind of stuff. No judge. I, I'm always with my daughter. I'm always with my daughter. I if you, you had a if, dog. If you, if you, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, now yeah. I want to do that. Okay. Well, Touche. Mom says that she's paying the bills down there in your apartment. What do you say? First of all, before I even moved over there, they they had the apartment free. Her mom went, how did the rent one get a free apartment? How is it free? The, the rent only three hundred dollars. Who can't pay three hundred dollars a month? Come on, now. Do you pay three hundred dollars? Come on, I'm, I'm paying. I'm paying the water bill. I'm paying the gas bill. Let alone, uh -huh. let alone, I'm taking care of her every you day and quit. my baby. Come you on, now. You need to quit. You Come really on, need now. to quit. You need to stop. Let's be real. Does he work? Now, Miss Miss Ajman, does I'm Mr. Space real. work? Do you work, Jamal? You know I work. <laughs> I work every day. Do you? I'm at work all the time. You don't, you don't know? know that. 
I feel like he lying to me because when it comes to financial, where is it? Where's the proof? So it's like you saying you Does got a go job, to a but building where's the proof? or somewhere every day? <laughs> Not every day. He be at the house playing Call of Duty. What do you do for a living? Now, Judge, I have a lot of jobs. <laughs> I have a lot of jobs. Here we go. Now <laughs> wait. Now wait. I have right. a lot of businesses. I do construction. Uh -huh. I'm a comedian. <laughs> I, I, I do everything, Judge. Labor. I do it all. Anything you can think of, I do. But my main Please job, tell me my main job know. is taking care of my daughter. That's my main job. Okay. And we, well, and, and, wait, and, wait, but we need money. Like, oh, I, I You want to say that when I gave you $400 last like week, though? $400 win. Come on. Let be real. When? Let be real. You acting like I'm just, I'm just coming in. Just, you just let me ask you. Put me as a, as oh, no. Ms. Algerman. Who primarily pays the bills in your house? Well, I've been paying, uh, paying half the bill. My mom helps me. And he pays... It's only $300. He pay, it ain't $300. It's you, $300 that you're not paying. Exactly. Oh, but it ain't $300. Because I pay the water bill, the gas bill, and everything else. Does he pay the no, water bill? No, he don't pay all them bill. bills. Ask who bought the baby He may have paid the water bill twice, but he ain't paying it like that. He said to me that his job primarily was taking care of the daughter. But what you told me earlier was that it's difficult to get him to do that exactly. as opposed to the game. Give me some examples of times where you've tried to get him to participate, but he simply would not. Even just, he thinks because I'm the woman that I have to do everything, change the diapers, um, uh, feed, do all the feedings, everything, cook all the time, you know, f wash his clothes all the time, you know, things like that. But he can't even bring home money for me all the time. Like, you do know, you expect her to do all those wifely duties? She's supposed to take care of the kids, cook, clean, and all that kind of stuff. Is that what you're looking for? That, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm no. just wanting to know if it's your thing. No, Judge. See, one, th one thing, I, I'm always with my daughter. I'm always with my daughter. I if you, you had if, a job. If you, if you, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, now yeah. I want to do that. Okay. Touche. I'm <laughs> always, I'm always with my daughter. I take, if, if anything, I'm with her. I'm with her the most. I'm with her the most when she leaves. I'm with her the most. I'm well, calling her. I ask somebody her, you has at? to bring the bread and I'm, the butter in the house. Come on, huh? Somebody got to bring the money like in the house. Not Are even you back to job. work yet? Um, yes, ma'am. I'm back to work. I'm a traveling stylist, and I do hair in the house sometimes. Oh, okay. okay. Gotcha. 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 So, so when you are out doing hair, does he look after the do yeah, your daughter? He does. He does. does he do a good job? Oh. He does a good job. He's a good dad. I'm not Great gonna. Father. You're you know, not gonna take that from me. Right. Exactly. He's a good dad. Yeah. But. We need money, so... We need money? We got the money. Baby clothes not that expensive. But Baby she's, getting, not that she's getting older I every day, Marcus. I go to Walmart and get, and get about 20 onesies for $10. You chocolate. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. Shut up. Come on. <laughs> don't say real no more. Please don't. <laughs> she's feeling like she's not loved. She's feeling like an appliance. You know I love her. That's not enough. I show it all the time. No, you don't. I no, you don't. You're in divorce court. <laughs>just like compliments sometimes like he don't care he yeah. he would take me like one time for instance um we usually go we usually like do little stuff go to the movies you know regular stuff like we're young but like i just want to feel special sometimes you know what i'm saying i want to go to nice places and so i was explaining that to him i'd let him know that so one day i'm at work and I get a call from him. He telling me, he like, oh, well, yeah, you've been telling me this. I've been listening. I'm going to take you out um, somewhere real nice, real special. Man. So I'm excited. I'm like, OK. He's trying to step up. He's trying to, you know, be a man now. Right. And so I'm excited. I'm telling my coworkers, ooh, I'm going to go on a date, finally. Yes, ooh. So I, I'm, I get off of work. I go home, take a shower, you know, do my hair, do my makeup, get real, real, real cute. Mm -hmm. So he come pick me up. And so he like, just sit back, close your eyes. I ain't gonna tell you um, where we going. So I'm just sitting back, close my eyes. So um, far, it's sounding pretty good. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so, oh, yeah. so, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it do. 
for now. But, um, okay, so we ride in. He like, I'm thinking we, it's gonna take 30 minutes to get there. It took, what, five, 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, dang, it's somewhere close. So, um, so I'm, my eyes still closed. He like, we pull up, he stopped. I open my eyes and I'm just in shock. <laughs> that I'm really looking at the Popeye's chicken sign. <laughs> <laughs> that's our favorite place, I'm Judge. Like, that's our favorite place, Judge. I'm like, she love Popeye's. She love Popeye's. At this point, she I don't even... Popeye's all week. She love Popeye's. He wrong for that. Oh, and that's, that's know you were wrong for no, that. He that's think he funny. funny. You that was wrong. You think you funny, funny, like... Now, you know, like Beyonce said, what, take me to Red Lobster? <laughs> he can't even do Some that. People eat Popeye. That's been about thirty dollars. Mr. Spates, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you what your problem is. I'm gonna tell you what your problem is. Your problem is you got installed. You got installed in his house as a handy dandy appliance, and that's exactly what he thinks you are. You take care of him. You take care of his needs. You take care of his kid. You take care of the money, and he can be an intermittent man. He can hand you four hundred dollars here and there and feel good about it. But he's not responsible for the rent. He's not responsible for the food and the, everything. He's just intermittent. Mm -hmm. And you've allowed him to be intermittent. It's not your fault. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna fuss at him in a minute. Because everybody's always telling you, know, why do you let him? You know, men are grown. And I'm not saying he doesn't love you. But I am saying that you're so invested in the situation with him, he doesn't have to worry about maintaining the situation. Now, Mr. Spates, you need to live a life that is a little higher than your circumstances allow. I think a lot of young dudes get away with doing a whole lot of not much at all because, we, because we've, we've disassociated marriage and, and being a man and being a, a provider from being a dude that can knock somebody up. And now we're in a situation where you can make a decision simply not to provide and support, and you'll be fine. Because some woman somewhere will take you in, will hold your hand, will have your baby, will cook your meals, will make sure everything happens, and you can play Call of Duty. Let me make a call to your sense of duty. Your duty to her, your duty to your community, your duty to her mother, your duty to me as a fellow old person. <laughs> Yes, we looking to you so when I'm really, really old and got a cane and walking around and I could look up and I say, see these brothers over here? They got my community handled. Yes, ma'am. Are you going to be that dude? Yes, ma'am. What you got to do to be that dude? I just got to stop playing Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> More than that. It's real talk More than that. I, 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 do play, I do play the game. <laughs> I do play the game a lot. You know, I you do. You think everything's funny. And, and you know, I know, I know I might be, you know. Games are for boys. Children are for men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't do both. You can, you can play video games, but they can't be your life. Yes, do you understand that? Right. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, don't let your needs go unexpressed. Mm -hmm. You make a game plan about where you want to be, what you want to do, and how you want him to contribute. And you demand that he do so. Not fussing and arguing, but, you know, uh, I don't make meals for men that don't work. I don't know why would you would. I don't know more. I got a job. I, I got a job. You know, she's, she's feeling terrible over there. She's feeling like she's not loved. She's feeling like an appliance. You know I love her. That, that's I, not enough. She knows I do. Don't, that's not enough. I show it all the time. No, man. you don't. I, Judge. No, you don't. You're in divorce court. <laughs> You're here Judge. for a reason. Judge. Judge. Uh, 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 when I tell you I love, I love this woman. I don't. You can, you can, you you can. Love unexpressed is worthless. That's right. You with me? I'm with you. I'm with you. Woman up, man up, and get out. <laughs> <laughs> this matter is adjourned. <laughs> All right. How do we feel today? Now you spoke with Judge Lynn. 
everything was good, it got resolved. All I gotta do is just stop playing the video game. And that's what I'm gonna do, because I love my woman, and I'ma stay with my woman. And ain't nobody else gonna have my woman. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, we good. Just told her thank you for everything.